She Swung by Trevor Johnson. Once, on a relatively large property in California, there lived a small family. It consisted of four family members, a young boy, his big sister, his father, and his grandfather. It was never a very eerie or creepy place, but there was always something about it that made you feel almost threatened, even after the family moved away. Most people brushed it off, assuming it was just the shady area that the property was in. The young boy and his big sister would wake up every morning, feed the horses, go back inside for breakfast, and then go on walks and exercise for the remainder of the day. One day, however, their usual tradition was broken. The boy was awakened by the clatter of the closet door opening and closing. He was quick to assume someone was in the house. So he closed his eyes tighter and stayed quiet as the one that caused the noise left the room. He snuck a peek at them. It was his sister. What was a 12-year-old girl doing up during the wee hours of the morning, much less getting a coat and leaving her room? He quietly followed her until she stepped outside. He caught the door as she attempted to close it and continued his pursuit. Now, being the child he was, he immediately assumed she was sneaking out to do something horrible and dangerous. But she simply sat on the yard swing in the front yard and swung back and forth, back and forth. This seemed to go on for hours, which very well could have only been minutes. He loudly and obnoxiously stomped over to her and demanded she tell him what she was doing, or he'd tell their father that she'd snuck out. She turned to him and answered with a simple phrase, but the tone she did so in made him feel almost threatened. Ah, hello, brother. Won't you swing with me? Two children found hung from a tree on Ornate Drive. Detectives claimed to find no fingerprints other than the children's own. One officer claimed to feel nauseated as he stepped onto the property, and another claimed to hear an almost inaudible whisper from the children's room. Ah, hello, sir. Won't you swing with us? <laughs> <laughs>